Hey guys, Randy here, and I just wanted to show you a little trick about sh how to switch out your LG G4 battery. Now, my battery is about three years old, and it's starting to lose its ability to hold a charge for very long. It may be that, or it might be the fact that I have so many apps running on my phone. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and who knows what else. I got so, many st so much stuff on here now. Anyway, my battery is not holding a charge as long as I would like, and I'm hoping that by buying a new battery, that can be fixed. And the way I get into my phone easiest is to go along here and find, so I can show you here on the camera, find a, a spot where you can get your fingernail in there and just kind of work it in there. For me, it works best when I go for the charging port. And once you start popping it off, you gently prise it. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm just running my thumbnail slowly and gently along the edge and I and once you, you can see it just pops right off anyway you can see there's the factory battery should be pretty easy <laughs> oh I did forget to say I did turn the phone off beforehand so make sure the phone's turned off so that you don't accidentally cause some type of electronic damage so just pop the battery out like that pop the new one in good to go and to put the case back on, it's almost as easy. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to get the case back on, but most times it just snaps. I can see that, you, or if you can hear that, let me put it next to my mic. You hear it snap down each side. Work your way around, completely around it. Check the edges. Make sure the edges are flush, that there's no, no unusual looking gaps in there. So you know that it's firmly in there. And then that's it. Let's see what happens with turning on. It should have a little bit. Of, it should have a little bit of a charge just to be able to turn the phone on, and then I'll plug it in and charge it up fully. At least I'm hoping that's the way it's going to happen. I may. Oh, I hear. I felt it vibrate. So yep, there it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. So I can get it under the camera there. And I'll go ahead and plug the charger in. I said I'm going to go. Plug the charger in. There. There we go. That should be all there is to it. I mean, literally took me less than five minutes. The, ease, the, the trick mainly is to get your fingernail or a fingernail file or even a paper clip, something in one of these little gaps, either at the headphone port or the charging port, and just slowly prise, gently prise around the edges, and you'll feel it snap open. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Next thing to do is just to slap it back inside my OtterBox case, and I'll be ready to go for the day. And let's see how much charge this thing has on it. I don't think the battery has enough charge to even turn the phone on. Oh, there it goes, 9%. I was wrong about that. So if you can see that, nine, it came with a 9% charge on it, just enough to get the phone up and going. And I'm sure that's enough to turn the phone on. Let me see if I turn the phone on. You turn the phone, well, you already know how to turn the phone on. <laughs> Press and hold the center button here. And I think I just turned it off. <laughs> nope, there it is, it rebooted. I'm not used to turning my phone off very often or rebooting it. The LG G4 has been very reliable for me. So it's so long between reboots and, sh and turning the thing on and off that I literally forget what it takes or what, what's involved in shutting it off and how to know when it's coming back on. I'm, one, I'm not sure if 9% charge is enough to actually let the phone boot up. or if it will, I think my phone is set for power save on 13%, and when it drops below that, it will shut the phone off to save itself. Oh, and there's one thing I was noticing about my OtterBox case is that it holds in a lot of the heat. So when I'm outside in Texas heat, around when it's 92, 93 degrees out here in the Texas heat, my camera really heats up the phone body. And man, it, my phone rebooted several times in the tech seat. So if your phone suddenly starts, if you're in a hot environment, that is, and your phone suddenly starts rebooting, get into the cold, protect your phone. <laughs> wow, it's charging pretty quick, 16% now. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up for now. Let this thing charge up and boot the phone back up. Go about my day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope I hope if you do like these videos, you'll thumb them up. If you don't like them, please thumb them down. Leave me a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll talk to you later.